For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone as we continue to preview ACU Football 2018. Let's talk some linebackers here with J.B. Brown, position coach, and Jack Gibbons, who last year, Jack, uh, in your first season, uh, getting a ton of playing time. Uh, you were an impact player, had 27 tackles uh, flying around the field. You got a chance to play under Sam Denmark, who finished his brilliant career as the all-time leading tackler. What will be the biggest challenge replacing for your unit as linebacker? Will it be replacing his, what he did on the field or, or replacing what Sam brought in other areas? I would say the biggest thing Sam brought was his leadership. Just always bringing energy and keeping everyone going all the time was going to be hard to replace. But we've got a lot of young guys who are stepping up into those roles, so I think we'll be all right. Do you feel, having played with him and watched him not just on the field, but watched him in practice, watched him in the weight room, watched him academically where he was tremendous, do you feel now a sense that you need to – maybe raise your example another notch? I mean, I would say Sam practiced harder than most people I've ever met. So I think everyone kind of watched that and fed off that. And now that he's gone, we're kind of just taking as a whole team unit trying to be on that level all the time. We talked to Juice, Jeremiah Chambers, the other day. Uh, this is a linebacking core that a lot is asked of. Uh, give me a sense through a few days and after the summer together uh, how good this unit could be. I think we've got more guys that can play than any team in the country. I mean, we've got, we're deep, three guys deep at every spot that can really play and make an impact. So I think the sky's the limit. It's just about if we're going to put in the work. All right, let's talk to J.B. Brown here. Uh, this was a guy that, that you, you gave a chance, didn't you, last year to do some things. And, and it seemed, I know I called his name a lot, not just on tackles, but being in position. What did you see from him last year and how much will you ask of him this year? Uh, we saw a guy that was reliable. You know, that's one of the things we talk about in my room is you don't have to have the best 40 or the be the tallest or bench the most or squat the most. Um, you need to play hard, be physical, and be reliable. And we called his number early on in the season, and he was those three things. And so now a year older, he's asked to be even better at that stuff um, and start being leadership type guy. Uh, we talked about trying to, I don't know if you say replace Sam Denmark, but, but you've got to put bodies in there. Jeremiah Chambers will move to the middle. Uh, give me a sense as you look at, uh, in terms of scheme and bodies, uh, wh what you would hope for from your unit this year? Um, first off, you know, replacing a guy like Sam Denmark is, I don't know if you ever replaced a guy with that kind of work ethic. Um, when you asked him about what we'll miss the most, it was his practice. Um, he was a guy that practiced really hard. And then you look at our scheme, uh, the best part about us is we're an unselfish group. I'm really proud of these guys because they work hard and they're unselfish. Um, and that's, that's the biggest thing to me is they don't care who gets the glory or who's playing or how many reps they get or if they have to move a position to benefit the team. And so that's kind of our theory is it's like we're going to go out there and we may not be the biggest names, but we're going to be a really good unit together. You've uh, brought in some new faces this year, a couple from Big 12 programs. Uh, give us a sense of some of these new guys, how they're blending in, and how much of an impact they could make. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, John Picone, um, we brought him in, and he adds another dimension that we were kind of lacking in the rush game. He's a very physical person, uh, loves to fly around. Um, we can get to the quarterback, too, can Quarterback, yeah, and that's, that's something that we were needing. Uh, brought in uh, Leachman um, from uh, one of the Texas, uh, Trinity Valley here in Texas. Um, he came from a program where they knew how to win. He had played in this conference. Um, he's a really good athlete. Again, he's another unselfish guy that can run around and fly around. And, um, you know, we got some young guys that have come up. Um, you know, you're going to see Landry Hutchins, a guy that you've seen on special teams before, but he's going to play on, uh, on uh, the depth now in Quayshawn Washington, a guy that you've seen in a different role now flipping over to help us. So you're going to see some guys that you've recognized their name, but they're going to be in a different role. And a quick thought about Quay moving over from the offense to linebacker. Oh, it's, uh, it's great. He's a very explosive young man. Um, uh, great kid. Practices hard, wants to be good. Um, you know, he's a work in progress still like we all are. Um, we all work in progress, but he's getting better every day. And again, it adds to like uh, Jack said, we're a, we may not be a superstar unit, we're a depth unit and we're an unselfish unit. And that's what I kind of preach is we're just a part of the 212 and we just need to do our job and do it to the best of our ability. And they do a real good job of that. That's what linebackers are supposed to be, aren't they? No glamour. Just okay. get in there and hit somebody. Like, right? a, like an old farm truck. It doesn't look pretty. <laughs> it just gets the job done. Well, let's see if they'll fire on all cylinders this year. For Coach J.B. Brown and for Jack Gibbons, I'm Grant Boone. Our preview of ACU Football 2018 continues here on ACUSports.com.